Hey, happy Sunday. Welcome to my second video. Um, it has now been, I think this is my third week. Week three, second video. I'm down 19 pounds, which is so exciting. Um, I really wanted to lose 30 pounds in the first 30 days because someone I know recently did that after the having gastric bypass. I'm one pound behind, so I've lost 19 pounds in 20 days. I suspect it to slow down quite a bit soon because, you know, you can only lose weight that rapidly for so long. So maybe it'll slow down. Um, talking to my dad last week after showing him my video, I realized that I missed a lot of the hospital stuff because I was kind of out of it. But um, first and foremost is if I hadn't had my parents there, I couldn't have done it. Like, you need to make sure you have someone with you that loves you enough to, like, help you shower, that kind of stuff. Um, I guess I mean, there are nurses available for that kind of thing, but you really can't move very well at all for the first week-ish. I was in the hospital for three days, and those three days were very hard. Um, so I was, I'm super grateful that my mom was able to help me with hygiene things. And my dad was there. He walked with me in the hallway. Um, you have to start walking right away. <clears throat> and he was really sweet about like holding, let me hold it, letting me hold his arm so I could walk and it was easier that way. Um, so definitely make sure you have someone there that loves you like a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, Walking, something else I want to talk about more in depth, they make you walk right away and they want you to walk a lot and that's difficult but doable. So if you have the surgery and you're laying there and they're telling you you have to get up, just get up. You're going to think it's impossible but it's not. Um, my brother who had the surgery um, didn't get up because he just was didn't think he could. I don't know, maybe he couldn't. People would deal with pain differently. but. Um, he, I think, ended up having more pain because they had to, like, change the sheets around him and that was people rolling him around in the bed. Ugh. I didn't want anybody touching me. So, um, to keep it in your own hands, get up when you can and you'll be happy later. I think it's less pain that way. At least for me, I know it was because when anyone tried to touch me, that was just the worst. <laughs> I didn't want people touching me. Um... When I had my surgery, I had a drain put in, and the drain, let's see, I have my computer balanced kind of precariously, so let's see if I can let go of it and have it stay. Okay, the drain was like, mm, camera, that long, so it was like, actually probably twice this long, it was like two feet long, and about a foot and a half of it, maybe, hmm, I would say about a foot and a half of it was inside my body. And then about a foot and a half was outside my body. Maybe even longer than that. So longer than two feet. But it was almost two feet inside. Um, I was really nervous about them pulling it out. Because ugh, that's just disgusting. Um, but it didn't hurt. So if you have a drain, it doesn't hurt when they pull it out. It feels really, really strange. And it's not going to be a feeling that you're going to love but it's not gonna hurt you. So don't be afraid of the drain. Staples, same thing. I, the first time I saw my stomach and had I had um, staples all over my six incisions, that really freaked me out because it looks really gross, like really gross. But when they took the staples out, right before I went home and they put the stereo strips on, it doesn't hurt. Like to the idea of having someone take staples out of your body sounds pretty painful but it's not so don't worry about it um the ride home something else i was worried about also not as bad as i thought it would be um they gave me what's called a binder to put around my abdom my abdomen and i put that on before i went home and i'm really glad i did because it kind of helps things from jiggling too much so that was very helpful if you have a binder they say different people react differently to it i liked it i didn't wear it much after i got home but I did wear it when I walked in the hospital, and I did wear it on the way home from the hospital, and then I wore it when I had to get in the car a couple days after, too. Um, 
have a note here to talk about hunger. I'm not sure what I wanted to say other than you don't, I haven't been hungry in 20 days. You just don't feel hunger. And for the first like week and a half, I was like anti-hungry because I was in pain. So I didn't want to eat anything. Um, and that was good. Um, I still don't feel hunger. I think it's like the first six months to a year you don't feel hunger because they cut off the part of your stomach that um, creates the hormone that causes you to feel hunger. And your doctor will tell you all about that. Um, I hadn't really felt a whole lot of nausea until, oh, right after I made my last video. I had a couple days where I was just nauseous all the time. I didn't throw up, but I was nauseous all the time. And that is not fun at all. So, um, just be aware of that. They told me that if you're throwing up a lot and you can't keep water down, to call your doctor, but that nausea was normal. So I didn't call my doctor. I didn't get any instruction. Um... I just kind of laid down and tried to not throw up and I didn't. So that's probably been the worst was the nausea. And I hadn't actually thrown up at all until yesterday and I ate, I think I just ate too much. Um, and I got really nauseous and I threw up a little bit, but not a lot. I mean, my stomach doesn't hold that much. So how much could I possibly throw up? Um, so yeah, didn't throw up a lot, but I have thrown up once now. Although some people say they throw up a lot. So I'm grateful that it's just been once and hopefully I can keep it down. This last week I actually went to a camp, a family camp with my family, and it was amazing. I've gone before. My family's gone for the last nine years. I'm 23 now and they started going when I was 14. So I went a couple years when I was younger, but I figured, you know, I'm home. I'm not going to be working so I might as well go and I did and it was so much fun I was really expecting a lot of people to give me grief about having gastric bypass but I didn't I didn't have anybody um, give me grief I suppose somebody could have like said bad things without saying it to my face but everyone was really really accepting and I really appreciated it and I guess the point of telling you that is maybe the worst thoughts still think people will think you're actually just thrown so um, pretty much everyone was very accepting um, because it was a medical it needed to happen and as long as I had the attitude of this is a medical procedure so I can be healthier people were good about it they were really good um, food was a little difficult because I couldn't eat any uh, my mom's a food coordinator so there's good food there um, I thought I would want it I didn't I still didn't I mean I could sit at the table with people and go, oh, that looks like it's really yummy, but I don't need any. <laughs> so that was good. Um, I ate a lot of beans and fruit cups, those kinds of things. Still not hungry at all. Um, that was pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Just camp was great. It was wonderful to be out um, by the river and in the sun. I was tired a lot because I just had surgery and I felt really guilty that I couldn't do more like cleaning and whatnot because it's a family run camp so um, there's cabins and there's a, a mess hall and everybody takes turns cooking and cleaning and um, it's a lot of fun but it is a lot of work and I felt really guilty that I couldn't do more um, but overall overall was really good I was very careful about water I usually try to drink four 16.9 ounce bottles of water a day um, but I bumped it up to five while I was at camp because I'm in Texas and it's hot so I drank a lot of water and it was easy because I was thirsty um, I think that's about it right now um, recovering quite well moving is super easy well okay not super easy but compared to like the last video super easy um, I think in another like few days I'll be back to normal I'm going to Oklahoma next week, not this week, but next week to visit my grandma. And when I get back from that, then I'm definitely going back to work. Uh, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Hopefully you're having a happy Sunday, and I'll talk to you next week.